Step three, creating the GDL object. Let's continue this exercise by creating an ARCHICAD GDL object from the 3D model of the chair that we have just created. Let's take a quick look at the design again and activate the 3.6 Check 2D Preset view from the view map. This is a floor plan view and the chair elements are visible from the side elevation view here. Open the preset 3.7 Check 3D view now to open a generic 3D axonometric view of the chair and to check the consistency of the chair model in 3D. The concept of auto-saving GDL is very simple. The viewpoint of the 3D window will define the top view of the automatically saved library part. This concept allows designers to easily rotate their custom GDL objects in space without the need for GDL scripting. Activate the preset 3.8 Open the Side View and notice that this view presents the chair as it is standing on the ground. It's easy to modify this viewpoint by activating the 3D Projection Settings option from the context menu. You can move the camera freely to find another viewpoint and even adjust the sun settings if you wish. Hit the OK button to apply the new settings and the result is immediately visible on the screen. Before proceeding, please make sure that the original 3.8 open side view is selected since the current view will determine the default placement of the GDL object later. Activate the File, Libraries and Objects, Save 3D Model As dialog from the main menu to save their chair design as an ARCHICAD GDL object. Enter Armchair Pymeo for name and save the object to your local machine. At the Save as Library Part dialog, select Object and activate the Remove Redundant Lines from Symbol option and save the 3D description as Editable GDL Script. This option allows you to enhance modifications in the object's scripts, for example, to add new material parameters later if necessary. Activate the Preset 3.9 Place the GDL Object view from the view map. The floor plan shows the original model and indicates the point where you can place the newly created GDL chair. First activate the Object tool and make sure that the previously created armchair underscore Pymeo object is the default object ready to be inserted into the project. Return to the floor plan and insert the chair at the point indicated by the label. Activate the preset 3.10 Check 3D View now to open the 3D window. Note that the object was rotated 90 degrees along the x-axis. The GDL model is now complete, although it has some limitations that we'll fix in the next section.